From the station with the most local news in our West Michigan, Fox 17 News at 10 starts right Thank now. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Josh Berry. And I'm Jamie Sherrod. Today marks one year since Sergeant Ryan Proxmire's death. He died after being shot in the line of duty during a high-speed car chase. Fox 17's Marisa Oberly has more on the memorial held in his honor this evening. The Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Office says people need to do more than just remember heroes like Sergeant Proxmire. They hope they act like him too. They say it's what's owed after his sacrifice to this community. Surrounded by his family, friends and co-workers. We will never forget. The Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Office celebrated Sergeant Ryan Proxmire on Monday. He took charge that night and was uh, leading the way to help solve a problem and a dangerous person's mission that night uh, mm -hmm. as best way as he could. And sadly, uh, he lost his life in that that battle. One year ago, the nine year KCSO veteran passed away after he responded to a gas station in Galesburg and tried to take a suspect into custody, who instead drove off and began to fire at Proxmire and another deputy. A bullet struck him near the intersection of MN Avenue and 38th Street. He died hours later at the hospital. It's been a long year and uh, the family has uh, been through an awful lot. Uh, this organization's been through an awful lot. Sheriff Richard Fuller calls Proxmire's death a tragic loss, but as they move forward, they want to focus on the good he did in the community. The 39-year-old husband and father of four helped train other deputies as a taser and defensive tactics instructor and aspire to earn a spot on the office's SWAT team. Proxmire grew up in southwest Michigan and graduated from Papa High School in 1999. We had several citizens come to us with stories about things that he had done, the connection he had made with people, uh, children that he had interacted with, and uh, those are things that uh, we we like to believe are happening in our uh, world as uh, you know, police officers and sheriff's deputies, and uh, it's true. It was happening all the time. Fuller and Proxmire always tried to educate people about the work he did, and his wife plans to create a scholarship that helps people pay their way through the police academy. Fuller says regardless of whether someone ends up in law enforcement, he hopes his sergeant inspires people to make things better. This organization will uh, will move on. Mm -hmm. uh, the community will move on, and uh, but never forget. Mm -hmm. We will never forget the sacrifice our friend and our hero gave to this community, to this organization, and to, to protect others. In last month, Governor Whitmer signed a bill which renamed a section of US 131 after Sergeant Proxmire. It's between West U Avenue and mile marker 35. We're reporting in Kalamazoo, Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News. Well, Sergeant Proxmire's family released a statement this morning. They said his death left a void in their lives that can never be filled, adding they're proud of Ryan's accomplishments and that he will never be forgotten. It went on to say or to ask people to support law enforcement personnel and other first responders who put their lives on the line every day to ensure our safety and freedoms. Proxmire's loved ones say that's the best way to pay tribute to his impact. Now as for the suspect who killed Sergeant Proxmire, he was shot and killed by deputies that night.